Ladies and gentlemen, this is Keith from I Repair Autos, and today I'm going to be talking about key fobs on your Mercedes Benz not functioning. You know, you try to unlock the car, you try to lock the car, you try to open the trunk. None of these things work, and I'm assuming that you've changed the battery already and it's still not working. So, this video is going to cover all of the things that you may need to check to ensure that your battery is good, that your fob is working, and if it's not, why? So, stay tuned and enjoy this video hey but before we get started i know you've been meaning to subscribe and by doing so and sharing and thumbsing up the video you push it up in the search engines results for youtube which makes it easier to find for other mercedes users and they can benefit from it too so do that now thanks step one check your remote and by checking the remote i mean press your buttons and every time you press your buttons you should see a red LED. That red LED means that the button is working and it also means that the batteries inside your remote is good. So that's the first thing that you're going to do. So step two is to check the infrared signal and you can't see the infrared with your eyes. You have to use your phone's camera. So taking your phone and pointing the remote up at the phone with the camera you would then press the button. And every time you press the button, notice that you see the infrared LED coming through that little red section on the remote. So the infrared signal is being sent from the remote. If the infrared was not being sent, that would also indicate that your fob is bad. But in this case, the fob is not bad. Not lighting up, your battery is dead or the fob is not working and or your infrared light was not lighting up and you're locked out of the vehicle what you would then do you would remove this key and to remove the key you just slide the, this little notch lever back and forth like that and then take the key out you take the key and you use it in the keyhole of the door to unlock your car the car will start with the fob as long as the fob is still operational for that section. The unlocking locking mechanism does not affect the starting of the car. You're going to check the fuse for the antenna module, the AAM. The antenna module is located in the trunk. Number 20 is all the way down at the bottom. It's a five amp fuse. So you check the fuse on your antenna because the fob transmits and this gets picked up by the antenna so this fuse has to be good put the key in the ignition for a few seconds remove it you will hold both buttons down for 10 seconds continue holding down the lock button and at the same time press the unlock unlock button five times to resynchronize if none of these options are working for you then you're going to have to get your aam all activity module diagnosed and you can use an iCarsoft MB2 scanner to see if there are any errors. Unfortunately you would have to take it in to a shop that has the Mercedes-Benz Star Diagnostic Scanner or an advanced scanner such as the Autotel or Snap-on to reprogram that module if it needs any kind of reprogramming. As always everyone don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel if you find these videos helpful. What that does, it pushes my videos up in the search results so that other Mercedes owners, drivers, do-it-yourselfers can find them easier. Thanks and peace out.